Good morning, my little bit here, chaps. How are you doing? We parry from across a shock. How are you all doing today? Well, I have got the joy of just showing off knives, which I love to do anyway. But this is my collection of Ashley Harrison and Arthur Wright knives. Now, just a little bit of quick history on who they are, where they're from, and why I collect them. Well, the beauty is why I collect them. But who are they? Well, Arthur Wright and Sons, let's start with that. Arthur Wright and Sons is a, 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 an English company who make traditional pocket knives. The likes of this sort of thing. This is a beautiful uh, Arthur Wright and Sons Clip Point Barlow with the most beautiful blade shape that I think is on any Barlow. It's gorgeous. A lovely swedge, lovely nail neck and a deep nail neck, a useful nail neck that you're not going to you know, break your fingers trying to get the edge of your nail in. Beautifully crafted in the most lovely wood. Uh, I think it's just rosewood. I don't think, I'm not sure, but, you know, I think it's just sort of a, a rosewood. But it is stunning. Now, I started off with Arthur Wright and Son, and I have three older models of theirs here that, uh, well, I'll just show you. They make patterns that, that, you know, are great. You've got the clip points. You have a lamb's foot. You can see the way that starts down. This is an older model of Arthur Wright's. And this is a more modern version of it. Now, they've been making these for years. But this is made by the new owners, who are Michael and Ashley Harrison. Here's another little beautiful lamb's foot. Isn't that just gorgeous? Beautiful. This one's in bone. That one's in plastic. And then here's another one in buffalo horn. But... For those of you who don't know, buffalo horn can go off. This is very dull now. It's still a beautiful functional knife. It's an older knife. It's a, it's one of the older Arthur Wright and Son knives, not made by Michael and uh, Ashley. But it's a beautiful knife. Again, That they, they took on that beautiful clip point, which I just adore. This is a perfectly functional knife, but the buffalo horn has gone a bit flat. If it was indeed buffalo horn, I'm not sure what sort of horn it was, but it is beautiful, beautiful working knife. And that's what they've always been known as, is, you know, working knives for a working man. Uh, where they're situated in England, in Sheffield, um, the farmers, the local tradesmen will all buy the knives. In fact, they do right throughout the UK. So that's that's where the, the, the that's all started from. Now, Michael and Ashley took over um, Arthur Wright and Son about 10 years ago I believe maybe a bit longer uh, but they took it over and when they took it over Arthur Wright and Sons had dropped their standards quite a lot uh, So, which was a sad thing to do because we don't have many uh, knife makers left that are putting out a good product um, so they have took it over and they've injected fresh life into it uh, and Ashley at the time was a young knife maker starting off and he took over the managing of the, the, the shop and getting the knives made and, and getting the, the level of workmanship rows and rows. And it's now got to a stage where I think it's really great, especially for their basic knives that, you know, they're not always going to be completely, you know, custom fit. But they're, this knife costs you £38. It's never going to be. Now, they go up in price, but do you know what I mean? This is a fantastic working knife for that price. But then I met Ashley through Instagram and uh, he started putting knives up on Instagram, which were not the usual you would find on the Arthur Wright site. Because I'd started collecting these because I wanted to collect British makers. If you remember a couple of years ago, that started. So then Ashley put ones up. And the first one I bought was a spear point, which I haven't got anymore because I, I, I sold that to one of my friends because he couldn't get on the books. Ashley doesn't make a whole lot of knives himself because he's 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 running a factory floor and then this is his hobby for want of a better word and the nice thing about Ashley is he came on we have just recorded yesterday uh, a podcast with him which will be put up next probably next week probably next Tuesday uh, hopefully uh, the Justin who's part of my um, Paddy and Pals there's Justin and there is um <laughs> He's gonna kill me. I've forgotten his name. Dan. I couldn't get his name. There's Justin and Dan, uh, who are part of the podcast. Uh, so we done an interview last night, which was lo really smashing. Really enjoyed it. And uh, so you'll see that next week. And please look out for it. We've just started this podcast. We had Ben on first. 
uh, which is podcast number three. And then we done one ourselves last night. Go back and watch it, please, because, you know, we're just starting out and we're trying to get knife makers from all around the world, not just the UK. But we got Ashley on, who was the, the one guest I wanted on because of the, the work that I buy of his. I just love it. And I've started Justin now. He's another uh, Ashley Wright freak, as we're calling ourselves, because we try to buy everything. But he doesn't take orders. You have to go on. The, well, he doesn't take orders when his books are closed. But he, he often makes uh, just a knife. I got this. It was the first time that he had uh, had a go at doing this here. Now, he's made another few since then. But this is just a beautiful example of what Ashley does on his own. Uh, a razor knife, just a cracking knife. So unusual with that beautiful, look at that, look at that blade. Isn't that just gorgeous? So he makes just knives. It, it's him, it's like he says it on the, on the podcast. I'm not going to give too much away. But it's his hobby. It's his way of learning how to do different things and expanding his talent base. Uh, and it's just growing. This is just something you have to see. He made this. This is a three-bladed knife. Uh, you've got a pen blade, you've got a hacksaw, and you have like a chopper, a small chopper work knife. And this was from, a, sort of taken from an old pattern. I think it was Case that done it. I'm sure there was a couple done it. But this was a knife used by those who'd done the cockfighting. And this is the knife that they had for sawing off bits of bone or chopping, whatever. And I just thought, what a lovely piece to have for my collection. And he had only made this for a, for a collection piece, just for something, a bit of show on his talent to learn how to do, not learn, he knew how to do, but he's, he's perfecting his talent. So I got that, which is the one you see at the top here when I'm, when I'm, uh, when I've moved my camera back. This is always sits out because I just think it is so unusual and very few people have had them. The case knives, I'm sure, go for a fortune now. So what's, what's the other, Ashley's just normal range? Well, let's start here. This is another fancy one with the Damascus. Uh, look at this big trapper blade. You can see that shape. It's the trapper shape. Beautiful big knife. Still uh, UK legal. It's three inches from the, the cutting edge. So it's a beautiful big working knife. Full four fingers. You can get a great big hand on it. Now, because of the Damascus, I'm not going to use that. I don't want to destroy that. So that's more of a, a collection piece. But here's three working knives that I think anybody will agree are just fantastic this was my first this was actually uh, a custom that i got him to make for me and people think i have the ins to ask i don't this was the only proper custom the rest i have got off instagram and you just have to keep going on instagram and at the end of the days middle of the days because he puts up if he has a spare one if he's making a batch he's trying a new thing out and i'll show you he does sample knives which i just got my first sample knife off Instagram this week and I'm going to show you that at the end because I just love it but this is beautiful this is Ashley's work and rather than Arthur Wright you'll see he has got uh, Arthur Wright and Sons it's a different you can see I don't know whether you can see that or not yeah I think you can see that's a different tang stamp than what they used to have and that's the one that Ashley uses uh, beautiful knife in bone uh, O1 tool steel actually makes all his own knives most of all his own knives in O1 tool steel which I love uh, and then I got this one which is another this is whiskey barrel wood the most beautiful and useful spear point let's be honest and this one also has oh and he puts a good spring in a knife which I really do love he's got a cap lifter on it and rather than a flathead screwdriver if you can see, I made it into a chisel. So it's a handy little thing for using as a chisel. And it hides away underneath the blade. There's no no way I'm going to cut myself. Another gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And I keep saying, I, I know this sounds terrible, but these are these are my pride collection. You know, I've got my Jack Wolf knives. I've got all, but this is a, a local a local man that I know. I know I know Ben, but I just talk some waffle. Anyway, this is a local man in the UK making knives for the every man and prices that you can afford um you know most people can afford he is just really reasonable with his prices and i have to say that and i'm sure they're going to go up as his names become more popular 
This is another beautiful spear point. I like a spear point for just a work knife because it does a bit of everything. There's enough point in these that they can stab things and open things that way. But look at that whiskey barrel wood. You know, there's two types there. You can see, and they're both completely different. I just love it. There'll be oak. I'm sure different types of oak. But there's an easy opening notch on this, which I got on my uh, custom knife. But I just think this is just beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to show you all this before I'm going to tell you what price this one is. Now, listen to this. Oh, it's just, it is stunning. And I like, I, this is the way I love testing. Listen to that. That is just workmanship, first class. Absolutely love it. Really do love this little knife. Great size in hand, four fingers. My third finger sits in the hollow of the easy opening and it is so comfortable in hand. Incredibly comfortable. Because there's no clips, that's the joy of slip joints to me. So that's beautiful. And that cost me, I got this last week. There was two of them went up. I, I only ever buy one at a time. I wouldn't be, no matter how many you put up, I only ever buy one because I want everybody to get a chance to see his work. And I recommend him all the time in this channel, as you know. But I got that for 50 quid. And the reason I got it for 50 quid, he had made two trial knives like this just to see what they were like and to get another bow in the, another string in the bow, I should say. So, there's no markings on it. It was just made as a, you know, a practice knife by him. He had done two of them. I got this for £50. This is a handmade custom knife for £50. This is now way up in the running for my budget blade of the year. Because for £50 you get a custom knife, 01 tool steel, beautiful whiskey barrel uh, covers. It is just beautiful. Made to this standard. It's, again, absolutely marvellous. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm probably as as chuffed as that as I am any of these knives here, because I know the man who made it, and that's where that personal touch becomes great. I don't have a clip point. I've got the spear. I've got the ram's foot. I've got a drop point, but I don't have a spear or not a spear. I don't have a clip point, but I have ordered another one from him, um, which is going to be handmade by him. So that one's coming. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because it is just stunning. My little mate Justin got one before me. He got one off Instagram. So I've ordered one to be made for me. Uh, I don't know where I'll get that because that's the thing that I say. This is his hobby. This is not his, his main job. And uh, I, I thank him for that. I'm so looking forward to the next one um, for my collection. I, look, I know I've just gushed here. But if you can't gush at something like this for, you know, a local maker that's making knives that, you know, from the beautiful to the obscure to just everyday useful knives i just love it i just love it. i don't need m390 and i don't need that for most of my for any of my real nobody needs m390 on a slip joint it's lovely to have it but these are traditional proper old traditional knives made in the traditional way by one man and that's what well this is a, a factory made but the rest the Ashley Harrison's one are made by one man in his shop from start to finish and that just enthused me so please go on there have a look he's just he's, he's also damn nice as well don't you find a lot of these talented people are just actually nice people it's really annoying really annoying but anyhow that's my collection I know I gushed about it but I make no excuses for it because this is why I love collecting pocket knives from any brand from any materials this is just uh, just amazing to me I get such pleasure on this I think that might have come across <laughs> sorry <laughs> but I just I, I am just this is a collection that will grow because every time I go on Instagram I check to see if Ashley has got something for sale. Um, and and if, you, if you want a knife from him, it doesn't matter where he is, it'll post it to you. Um, and if you can get on his books, get on his books, because what you're going to get, this is one of my favourite knives in my collection, because I chose all the materials. I chose the handle. I chose the easy opening. Um, so this just is... Uh, it, it genuinely is one of my favourite knives in my collection. The bone, he, he done the bone and dyed it itself. And as the bones got older, you can see there's like bits of red coming through it. I'm not sure what that's from, but I love it. It just, it makes it so individual. Uh, and it's mine. Never for sale.
<laughs> there you go. Away now. I've stopped waffling. Thank you so much if you stayed to the end, and uh, I'll see you next time. But don't forget, Ashley's podcast will come out next, probably next Tuesday. And I hope you enjoy it. And please let us know down below if you enjoyed it. Um, and I'm sure we'll have Ashley on again. Take care now. Bye-bye.